All right, guys. Well, so I made the first mistake of the day so far is that I started presenting but forgot to hit go live. So I apologize for that. I'm a little bit embarrassed. Um, I believe we're live now. Um, so thank you for joining me. My name is Pavlo. I'm here to show you guys a little bit about the Ultimate Ears Boom app today. Um, hopefully this brings you some sunshine and some light um, and some optimism when it comes to getting out there and using your boom and wonder boom and all your speakers in the summer that's coming up so um yeah my goal is to show you guys a, a bit of a walkthrough of what the app is going to look like and what it's if you haven't opened it before and also i want to teach you guys i hope the big grand scheme of things that i teach you one new thing that you guys might have not known if not an endless amount of uh good things and uh, new features through the boom app so i have it all set up here today let me show you guys what it's gonna look like to it. So you can see I have the Ultimate's Boom app saved on my device. So I'm going to hope open that up by, by pressing it. Um, so you can see it's a list of all the previous speakers I've paired to and that I have saved here. On the top right, I have a little help section that'll show you like how to connect the speaker and then what else you can do. So how to's on, let's say the Hyper Boom. It'll show you how to like uh, play music, the volume control, party up, one touch playlist, all that fun stuff with the magic button that we have on the hyper boom um, it's just like really basically the help section shows you like the service uh, charge out all that kind of fun stuff so if you ever have questions I would uh, recommend going to the app and checking it out here now this app only really applies to these speakers actually so it's the hyper boom the mega boom 3 the uh, boom 3 the boom 2 the boom 1 and the mega boom so the roll or the wonder boom they're not allowed to uh i guess connect to this speaker and the blast as well i should i can't forget the blast and mega blast they have the the blast and mega blast have their own app the roll has its own app and the wonder boom doesn't even have an app it's just a basic bluetooth speaker so these only apply to the hyper boom boom three mega boom three boom slash boom two and the mega within the differences um, there's only really one major difference is that the Hyper Boom stands out a little bit from the Boom 3 and the Mega Boom 3, but like I said, I'll go into that. So, let's start off with the Hyper Boom. It's my favorite. So, as you can see, it's grayed out, meaning it's not paired and it's not turned on. What I can do is with this little power icon in the bottom left, I can hit that. It'll turn the speaker on and connect. So, as you can see, it's connecting right now. Hang tight. It's paired. Awesome. I can see the battery percentage on it. Um, I also have a volume control and the Bluetooth section. I won't get into that right now. I'm going to start off with the settings in the top right. So if you hit settings in the top right, the little gear icon, I should say, it's going to give you the speaker settings. As you can see, my speaker is trying to update as I'm doing this. Um, so that's pretty cool. You can come in and see that there's a new firmware update available for your speaker, and that'll do it through the app. And we offer cool features and updates to make sure that the speakers are all working perfectly. In the settings, you can also go in and uh, customize the speaker name. So whether you want to name it Hyper Boom, Hyper Pav, you know, Chico, whatever you want. My cat's name is Chico. Um, so you can name it up to 30 characters. You can name it whatever you want so that if you're out pairing somewhere, you know it's your speaker and you're not pairing to someone else's speaker. You can also set an alarm on our speakers, which is really cool. So you can have it set for 6 a.m. You can do it daily. If you want to repeat it daily, you can choose what type of music to play with, and then you can set the volume for the alarm and, and preview it. So it's pretty cool. It'll um, turn itself on and start playing music or whatever you've, sound you've set and wake you up at 6 a.m. So I'm not going to turn that on because I do not want to wake up at 6 a.m., uh, especially with Corona right now. I have nowhere to go at 6 a.m. except for work here. So, um, speaker sounds, it'll turn on and off the, uh, or I should say toggle the sound. So when you turn it on, it gives you our little classic doo 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 doo. Um, and when you change the volume, it'll also give you sound. So if you don't like those and you don't want to have those, you can turn that on or off through there. You can also choose the speaker language. So English, French, Spanish, or Dutch, which is really cool. And then you can also go in and do the one touch playlist kind of walks you through, uh, how to do that, whether you want to play playlists or, uh, albums through one of these service providers. Then you can go to party up mode. So this is a really unique feature I feel like uh, is kind of slept on by some people is that um, party up mode allows you to pair multiple speakers together. I'll, I will get into that with our app uh, right after this. But people always ask me, oh, you know, what if I'm out somewhere and someone else is, wants to pair to my speaker? They're going to like hijack my speaker by grabbing and, and adding it to their party and playing some explicit music or something that I don't want to be play through my speaker what you can do is go into the party up settings on your speaker and turn it on or off there so now it's no longer allows like other people to come in and 
pair to your speaker. It's just your speaker. So it's pretty cool. I think uh, everyone should know about that. And like I said, I feel like it's underrated. Then there's the help section and the kind of speaker info. It's pretty self-explanatory. It goes back to showing you how to connect and all the support pages and stuff like that. So that's the speaker settings. So let's go down. Like I said, there's a power button on the bottom left there. It also has a volume rocker. So what's really cool is that kind of the app makes your phone a remote control for the speaker. So you can turn it on or off or raise the volume. You don't have to get up and start pressing buttons. Um, what you can also do is have the input, which is really cool. So you can choose the audio sources. Um, so whether it's Bluetooth 1 or 2, aux or optical. So if I want to switch to aux, it'll switch the speaker automatically over to whatever I press, optical, Bluetooth 1, Bluetooth 2. So this speaker is really cool because you can plug in like a DV sound system or whatever you want through it um, and just switch the sources right there through the um, that little section under audio sources. So. Moving on, we've got Party Up. Like I was saying before, Party Up allows multiple speakers to be paired together. So right now I have uh, two mega booms right in front of me. Actually, the red one is just in front of me. The black one is on the desk to my side. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. I don't know why I'm telling you this. But I've got the red one in front of me. I want to uh, add it to my party. I can just uh, swipe and drag the speaker up. It turns the speaker on because the mega boom was uh, previously off. And now it is pairing the speakers together. Just make there you go perfect alright so now we're paired together I can start playing music I can add the black one if I want to and now it goes into like three up as you can see at the top it's pairing multiple speakers together uh, if you don't want to pair any more speakers together and you want to cancel everything you can uh, drag the main speaker to the bottom and it'll cancel out the party and stop the pairing mode which is really cool so if you have like a bunch of speakers you're not just dragging every single individual speaker down to the bottom you can just grab the main speaker and pull it down Moving on, we've got the EQ. So this is something that sets the Hyperboom apart is that we have the adaptive EQ at the bottom there. So adaptive EQ is a little microphone at the top that allows the speaker to sense the room around you and give you a better optimized feel. So if you're in a big echoey room, it's gonna sense that and it's gonna optimize per the environment that it's in. So small room, big room, whatever. And that's really cool. You can turn it on or off if you don't want that. Um, right in the settings in the app here at the bottom right and a kind of simple basic five band EQ uh, with the bass the mids and the treble so you can go ahead customize whatever you want you can hit save name it whatever you want and then it'll be under your uh, preset so I have party time right there I've saved that you know I can delete it if I don't want it or I can adjust it and hit save and now I can save it to party time uh, whatever hit done I'm gonna overwrite it yes and now I have my new EQ saved and you can have a, a bunch of them I don't really have too many because I feel like I don't know what I'm doing sometimes with these EQs so we've got the EQ we have also give you provided you some modes so the modes are like a bass boost or a gaming slash cinema um, provided here as you can see it's changing podcast mode I listen to a lot of podcasts so I actually pr should leave it on that but you can save them all through the EQ so it's pretty useful especially for those audio files out there who wanna, really want to get a granular you know sense of what their um, what their speaker is gonna sound like so moving on from the hyper boom I'm gonna turn this puppy off turn her off through the app I didn't even have to touch anything now I can go back to my speakers and move on to the mega boom 3 because there's one last feature I want to show you guys um, so the mega boom 3 the layout here is gonna apply the same thing to the um, boom ones the boom twos the boom threes uh, the mega boom one and the mega boom three is that it's gonna have the three uh, all the features like I talked about in the hyper boom but it's gonna have now a block party mode which is really cool so if, for those of you who don't know what block party mode is is that it allows three devices to be paired to one speaker so it's really cool actually let me show you that real quick let me get back there Block party mode show me how like I said three devices can be paired to one mega boom so you can have your buddy play, wanting to show you a, a music video of some sort or anything like that but you're playing music he can become one of the DJ's and start playing music so you can hit the plus to begin it's gonna create the block party on the speaker it's gonna show my main phone uh, connected and all my friend has to do is go into his Bluetooth settings which I'm gonna do on my second phone right now select mega boom 3 and it'll automatically connect and start pairing. Let's see. Oh, there you go. Awesome. So now I have the Galaxy S8, which is my second phone, playing some Eminem Godzilla. So I can hit the play button. It's going to start playing the song. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Awesome. It's playing some music. I can pause that if I want. I can skip the song if I want at the bottom right. It was there. Let me show you guys again. 
I can skip it if I want, and I can even boot him from being one of the DJs. So you can have three people uh, paired, and they don't even have to download the app. You know what I mean? That's that's how awesome this um, this app is, and how powerful it is, is that people can just start playing music instantaneously through their phone, just through Bluetooth. So that's really awesome. Like I said, this applies to all of the other speakers except for the Hyperboom. So keep that in mind. Other than that, guys, I think that's it for all the features I wanted to show you today on the uh, Boom app. So let's jump back and answer any questions you guys might have. All right, guys, so that was the quick walk through the Boom, the UE Boom app. <coughs> my apologies. So I hope you guys learned something. Uh, my big slept on feature was the uh, the public speaker mode where you can hide it and not have people um, connect to your speaker because I always hated that, even though I did that all the time. Um, so do you guys have any questions or anything like that? I know Norman uh, in the chat and Ricky at wake up at 6 a.m. I'm sorry, I don't wake up at 6 a.m., um, even though my mom is always yelling at me, Bella, you're always sleeping in the bed and never do anything, blah, 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 blah. So any questions, feel free. I'll wait a couple minutes if you guys have any questions. I hope you guys are having a great day out there, staying safe. I don't see anything yet. I guess not. I have no questions. All right, so I hope you learned something. Oh, must be nice. All right, Ricky, yeah, it is pretty nice. Uh, <laughs> that's why I don't have kids yet, but we'll get there, hopefully. Um, so, like I said, thank you for joining us, guys. Um, we will see you guys next week for Cell Pro. We're going to do a lot more videos. I apologize if you were here for the last, um, for yesterday's Cell Pro video with the G502 gaming customization buttons. That was my video I was supposed to do. I love the mouse, um, but I had a power outage, so it didn't really work out that well for us. Uh, and then we tried to scramble at the end to, to kind of get it to going, and it, it didn't work out. So next week, we'll be doing more Cell Pro videos, and we'll be doing a G502 video because I know I want to keep doing it. My favorite EQ setting, uh, Ricky, is probably going to be podcasts because I do listen to a lot of podcasts. As much as I am a gamer, um, I think podcasting is probably the best one. I have no idea what these EQs do. I know, I mean, I know what they do. Uh, I just don't feel like I have like a really solid idea of like what sounds better for podcasts and why the the bass is cut and all this other fun stuff. I think it's just kind of nice to just fool around and let them let the audio files do all the work there. So, like I said, thank you for joining us, guys. I will see you it next week, or we will all see you. Uh, come join us for the Cell Pro and sign up for those things. We got gifts um, galore. All right, guys. Thank you. Take care. <laughs>